I am Nick Lekas. I am a graduate student at Portland State University studying uh, radio communication systems design. Hi, I'm Denea. Um, I'm an undergrad electrical engineering student. Hi, I'm Aiden Tuan. I'm an undergraduate at Portland State University. I'm studying in business management and leadership. Excellent. Uh, well, I'm so excited for you guys to be here today. Can you tell me more about what inspired you to be a part of the Clean Tech Challenge? I volunteer with a nonprofit group that adapts small ride on toys for kids with mobility impairments. And they use convoluted, not great methods to adapt their toys. I saw the uh, opportunity to help those, help them, and make it easier for them to adapt toys for kids. That's a, a very inspiring inspiration. Um, so tell me more. Tell me what EasyDapt is. What are you working on? Absolutely. So in the beginning, we were working on a device that could connect to children's car toys. And so parents could have control over their children's safety. The children themselves can also adapt to the situation and also to protect themselves. But later, as we did further business development, market research, and technical advancement, we realized that our device was simply incapable of encapsulating the overall market, the consumer needs, and our needs to give back to the community. So we further pivoted to a newer design that encapsulates a bigger and broader audience and also a better technology development. Well, I can tell that you have put a lot of thought into what you're working on, why you're working on it, and those who are going to be uh, affected and influenced by it. This is just really amazing. But as we know, innovation is not always an easy journey. So tell me, what do you think the biggest challenges or obstacles that you have either encountered already or foresee going through as you continue on the project? Yes. So as we mentioned earlier, we had to pivot away from our original idea because we did market research and also technical analysis and found that our idea was insufficient in capturing the consumer's needs and our needs as entity. So that was the biggest issues we faced. Later on, we're going to be doing more research into the total market and also doing customer surveys and other types of analysis. And that will help us get a better picture of what we're going for. You know, now that you've been working through some of your challenges and your struggles and you're really getting into the prototype, in the end of all of this, you know, what are some things that you hope to get out of your clean tech experience? For us, well, we would like to get from this clean tech challenge the experience and know-hows of entrepreneurship. It is a great segue into our ways of doing maybe further on in our lives. We have more entrepreneurship aspirations and this clean tech will be a great way to sort of test out, test the waters and see how we adapt to these changing environments. Your project is really taking on this amazing, uh, impactful challenge. I really, uh, let me rephrase this. What do you want the judges to know? What's the most important thing for them to see about your team? I think that it's really important that the judges see us as not just a startup business, but as a culture, as a, a movement towards accessibility and creating social change. We're trying to be... It's like EasyDAP was chosen it lets us do more with adapting. It's more of a general name. What you're working on has such an incredible social impact. What's something that you really want to make sure the judges know about you? EasyDap started out as a way for us to try to get accessible devices to kids that needed them. But EasyDap has developed into something greater than that. We're trying to be a community for people. We're trying to bring accessible devices to a wider group of people. EasyDept isn't just a brand, we're a community. You all seem so dedicated to this. Um, I'm really interested to know, how did you How did you all come together? How did you become a team uh, and decide on taking this forward as your project? Um, we met in kind of a unique way, building rockets and satellites together. That's where our entire team met, actually. Um, so we all knew each other beforehand. I think that we all share a passion for innovation and a common goal to change the world. The thing about us is that we are innovators. We are here building things that most people would never think that college students would be building. We're part of a, of a rocketry program that has a satellite in space. We 
have big dreams and we're not gonna stop at anything to achieve them. That is beautiful and so inspiring. I have a feeling that you're going to inspire your fellow competitors. So with that in mind, what kind of things do you hope that they consider um, to make sure that their projects are just as socially responsible? I mean, I hope that they consider the people that are part of their group. I know that our team is comprised of people that really care about the community and about what they're doing. And I hope that they also see their businesses as more than just that, more than just a business. This isn't just a business competition. It's an opportunity to get the resources that we need to change. Thank you so much for taking the time to share more about your project, to help us get to know you. And I can't wait to see um, what the future holds for EasyDeft. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.